Hello, I'm Patricia McNeely from Twin Flame Body. How are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about a pretty serious subject um, that actually I've known about for a long time and I've covered it in, uh, I've covered aspects of it in various past classes. But now I'm going to offer something about this information uh, where it's more concise because there are several things that overlap and actually are related. So the topic is the dark night of the soul and your inner light. So where has this expression come from? It's actually a couple hundred years old and it has uh, been found in many ancient texts, some allusion to it, uh, something alluded to it that people experience it. It's the kind of thing that really throws off a person's life entirely. And it's time to be able to do something about it. Now, I'm happy to say that um, there actually is a way. And I've been having phenomenal results with people. And so it's, it's actually it's time. Because for some people, it just doesn't seem to get better. I want it to get better. Um, not only is this stuff painful, because it involves a lot of things. There is a ripple effect. It affects all of us. If someone takes themselves out, it does have an effect on us. We've had several um, people in the public eye who have done that. And it it's shocking. It hurts. It makes people feel something. That's not the main purpose because that is that person's decision. However, how low of a vibration does it take someone to get to that decision? And I myself have been there. I've actually had to battle through several, um, I would say, bouts of just wanting it to be all over in several ways. So some of those ways were, you know, slow and agonizing, and some of the ways might have been very quick. But I'm here to do this. But there's a lot of people that don't realize how deep this goes. I do. And I've had the blessing to not only have uh, it put to me in a way where I can sort of see the bigger scope of it and the bigger picture. It's costly in terms of monetary things when people do this or they go through it. It costs them parts of their lives. They can't function properly. It's hard to hold a job. It's hard to be normal. It's hard to feel normal. It's hard to feel like somehow there isn't some kind of hole in the floor that you'll fall into. It's hard to believe that it would ever be different. Some people live with a type of a chronic version of these things. Suicidal thoughts, what is called suicidal ideation. What that means is thinking up things, thinking up ways, and this can be very intense for people. Some people attempt it, and I don't recommend it. There are other things to be aware of that are related, anxiety and panic. Now, people might say, how can depression and anxiety be related? They actually are, and there is a reason for it. There's a reason that anxiety has become a disorder and why it's reaching a, sort of an epidemic state all by itself. There's a reason why there is a lot of suicide, suicidal thoughts. Even as we are ascending, there are people that go through this. And it belies the sense of ascension. It can feel very odd to someone who is very happy or starts to feel good suddenly to be hit with some of this. For women, this is cyclical, which means that it is very much tied to cycles of your life. And that hurts a lot of women. That gives women a stigma. It gives men a stigma. Men do certain things when they are feeling this way, okay? It's not pretty, ladies and gentlemen, and, you know, people sometimes do not know what to do with this. The good news is, is 
I know what to do and I know how to help you. And this is a modality. This is my modality for helping to expedite it. It is intended to help you in ways that actually use your brand new connections. What are some of the other things? The dark side of the ego. So people talk about shadow work. Shadow work might be on the milder side in the sense that you are feeling a dark mood, you're feeling moody, you feel grumpy, and somehow you know you might go through it. But there are people that suffer from a paranoia of other people. They feel that they're being spied upon. They feel things even while there are, you know, other things that contradict that. They can't help but feel it. It's a feeling. It's their reality. But it may not be the actual reality. What is beyond shadows? Shadows are what we think of as darker emotions. Now, those emotions do exist. And yet many times we get told not to feel it. Well, where does it go then? For twin flame people, it can slide all over the place. And the main thing is, is don't you want to get rid of it? Well, you have an inner light and I'm here to help you get there. I know that there's a lot of people that watch my videos and they're sort of like, oh, hey, thanks, Patricia. Thanks for that little weather report. Okay, this is serious stuff, ladies and gentlemen, because if you don't think so, go and see what the actual cost is when people get sick. Go try and pay a hospital bill for some of the things that people do go through, and then they wind up over there. I want to help stop the crises from cycling again and again and again and again. The inner screaming that comes up, the times when people are you know, with themselves and they just want to scream and scream and scream or the times that people feel like they are falling or the times that, and I've been there, I've been there at night hearing the level of the density and, you know, the, the wailing. It's not a made up thing, but it takes a certain uh, level of awareness in order to understand what exactly it is. It's the level that some people are living at. They're living in a living hell. You know, they're, they're sort of in that hell. What do drugs and alcohol and addictions have to do with this? A lot. I can genuinely say that in the years that I've been doing this, our heart and our soul is not naturally inclined to those things. So it's not the madness or the suicide that came first. It's the drugs and alcohol. And let's say it, let's call it what it is. It's the abuse of it. We're not talking about someone using a little marijuana just to get their appetite going. We're talking about someone who's doing it day in and day out and day in and day out and day in and day out without understanding the effect it's having on them or the person that they're connected to. And guess what that person goes through? Bipolar, appetite issues, and suicidal thoughts. Do you know that there are ancestral reasons for dark stuff that people experience? Do you know what exists in your family? Do you know some of the family history? Do you know beyond that family history? Does it matter? Well, it matters in the sense that it wells up and it seems to well up from nowhere. And you can't deny it because when it comes to the surface, that's when it makes people act out. That's when it's time to nip this stuff. Okay. And if you're a parent, if you have a child that goes through some of this stuff, they feel suicidal thoughts. Or kids go around to each other in school and they say things like, kill yourself, KYS, kill yourself. Or your child comes home and they're being bullied within an inch of their life and they don't feel like they have a life worth living. What does that actually do at a time when they're supposed to be growing and learning and, 
you know, you see things and the reality is, is that it's very tormenting. There are some people that live in such a torment that they're living in the thin line of the quiet desperation. What are some of these ancestral reasons? I will be covering it. And I will help you lift up your real set of connections so that not only do you get uplifted, but we want to get you out of that place permanently. We want to give you um, reasons for thriving. I want you to get the part of you back where it's on and it's real and it's not you know, it's not white knuckling. So I have a three-part class. I'm having it in two uh, time frames to hopefully reach people. Um, the one here starting Saturday mornings on a weekend so that hopefully it can help you. If you've been through a breakup, if you are going through some of this. So these things happen. Life is going to keep happening. Cars break down, metal corrodes. Storms will happen, branches will fall. As we can see, hurricanes, tornadoes, thunder, lightning, floods, um, all kinds of stuff is happening, forest fires. And this has a huge effect on the collective mindset and mood. Okay, It doesn't matter what celebrities are dancing on TikTok or something like that. This is the undercurrent. And my guidance is to get that undercurrent shifted. Twin flames are here with double the love so that we can do this and to uh, turn the tide. Now, I'm not negating any help anyone has already gotten, nor am I negating any help that is out there. But what I am suggesting is Let's get this proactive so that it's a, not a continued series of crises. My phone blows up every time there's a portal. And there's things that people can do that they're not learning out there. And this takes a bit of studying and work. It takes body work. So you have connections that you need to be opened. I know how to help you with that. It takes a bit of a prolonged period. It doesn't happen like this. That is another thing that people don't realize. And I'm going to say it kind of like this. Rome wasn't built in a day. It's not going to take just one thing or one reading. Or maybe you stop the addictions with readings and running every single time you feel something and really start to get going with the body work. Are you a professional that works with people? Would you like to learn more? Are you, are you any kind of a reader or someone who does certain types of work? Are you a teacher? I would welcome you to um, join. So like I said, in two time frames, the 21st, or the 23rd, which is Monday evening, so that would work if you're in um, the U.S., if you're on the West Coast, if you are in um, Asia, Australia, um, that would be uh, your next morning, I believe. And we are going to meet in three segments because it's time to get this going, okay? I've really been put through my paces, everything from the impending doom desolation where I just waited for something to almost swallow me whole, because that's how it felt, to the heights of the highest dimensions that I could possibly have achieved, and also have felt this through my body from my other half. I too have had to get rid of addictions. I too have had divorce, breakup, um, a chronic illness. People don't mean to, they just sometimes end up this way. And sometimes it's something that you may not know exactly the reason, but we're going to get you fixed up. 
Okay, so this is to complement some of the other things you might do. And I'm just going to say something else. You'll see that in there. This, this is done without medication. This is done without, you know, lengthy um, rituals. It's not by calling in a um, religious entity or something like that. It's not that type of thing. It is all about you. And, you know, it's, it's time. It's time because we're on the cusp here of really brand new levels here. And there's a thing that has happened. To an extent, there is um, what I would call part of my task, the, the mantle that I have taken on, which is to kind of be the advanced scout and then go back and, you know, help people who need that extra boost. Of course, this is a class. And if you would like to contribute, there will be a link there for you to please donate. It is utilized to help people get in who need it. That is what it goes towards. I don't go to the racetrack and play the horses. It is used 100% for that. And I thank you very much for watching. I will be having, if you have any questions, email me at twinflamebody at gmail.com. Thank you so much. Bye now.